If your RV's patio awning is old, torn, faded, or just plain worn out, replacing the fabric is a great do-it-yourself job that can save you a lot of money over having it done at an RV shop. It's not as difficult as you might think, and today we'll show you how it's done. We'll need quite a few tools for this job, including a rivet gun and some pop rivets, a cordless drill, vice grips, a razor knife, drill bits, we might need an allen wrench or two, and we'll want a couple of box or open end wrenches, a Phillips head screwdriver, silicone spray lubricant, and some electrical or masking tape. We'll also need a caulk gun and some waterproof sealant, a hammer and punch, a socket wrench, a tape measure, flat blade screwdriver, and a felt tip marker. Since we're working high up on the RV, we'll need two step ladders plus a large tarp to protect the new awning fabric. Optionally, a couple of blocks with a soft cloth on top will come in handy. And don't forget to line up a little help. A professional can easily do this job with just one helper. A handy and confident do-it-yourselfer is probably better off with two helpers. With really large awnings, four people makes it a breeze. With the offer of something cold to drink and a delicious meal from the grill, you shouldn't have too much trouble rounding up a few friends. Of course, you'll also need replacement fabric. This high quality, heavyweight, tight weave vinyl came from Tough Top Awnings, where we purchased our very first slide topper replacement several years ago. And our installation today is being guided by a very special guest, none other than the man behind the fabric himself. Hi, I'm Ray Obreiter with Tough Top Awnings. Before you order your replacement fabric, you'll need to measure your awning. Measure from inside cap to inside cap. This one is 245 and 1 8 inches. Let's start by removing the main bolts that hold the top of the awning to the side of the RV. It might seem like that would allow the awning to fall off, but don't worry. The combination of spring tension in the roller tube and the legs attached to the base of the RV will hold it up. Now remove the two small screws that prevent the fabric from sliding in the track. There's one at each end of the awning. Pop the lower ends of both awning arms out of their brackets on the side of the RV and extend them until they're both touching the ground. Flip the control lever on the right side of the roller tube as though you were preparing to fully extend the awning. Then, using your awning rod, pull the roller tube about a foot out from the RV. This is what your awning should look like now, with both arms resting on the ground so that the fabric is unrolled about a foot or so. Before sliding the awning off the RV, you'll want to put some electrical tape or masking tape on the upper awning brackets to make sure they don't scratch the side of the RV. If your awning is really old, like this one, you may need to use a sharp edge to cut any old sealant away that connects the fabric to the track. You may also need to scrape away any debris from the inside of the track. To further ease removal of the old fabric and installation of the new one, gently spread the end of the track with a flat blade screwdriver. With your helpers holding the two awning arms slightly off the ground, begin pulling the fabric out of the track, making sure you have plenty of room in front of or behind the RV. Walk the entire awning completely out until it's free. If the fabric is stuck in the track, and difficult to slide at first. You may need a third person up on a ladder to continue pulling until it slides more easily. Once the awning is free from the RV, set it down carefully. While not absolutely required, placing the roller tube up on blocks makes working on it a little easier. There are two springs inside the roller tube, one at each end. We're going to lock the spring at the rear or left side of the awning by removing the black plastic cap and inserting a Phillips head screwdriver. For the front, or right side spring, we'll be releasing the tension and removing it. Start by loosening the bolt that holds the arm to the roller tube, then remove the bolt and the arm. Now reinsert the bolt 
and put some tape on the bracket to protect it from getting scratched. Then firmly clamp the vice grips onto the bracket. We're about to release the spring tension, but don't worry, it's not nearly as scary as you've heard. Just keep a firm hold on the vice grips. Lift up a little bit to release pressure from the awning control lever, then flip the lever to the roll up position and carefully unroll the spring. Be sure to count the exact number of rotations required to fully unwind it, as we'll need to roll it back up that exact amount later. This awning took nine rotations to unwind. Then we can safely remove the vice grips. Before removing the spring assembly from the right side of the roller tube, we want to mark the location of the awning control lever using our felt marker. That way, we can reassemble it in the exact same spot. Using your cordless drill, drill out one of the pop rivets that holds the end cap onto the roller tube. Then use your hammer and punch to remove the remainder of the rivet. With one person at each end, rotate the roller tube so you can access the pop rivet on the opposite side of the end cap. Then drill it out and punch it out, just like you did with the first one. Now simply slide the entire right side spring assembly out of the roller tube and carefully set it aside. Now lift up the roller tube and unwind the old fabric one turn at a time until it's completely off the tube. Like we said, two people can do this, even when the extra helpers are on break. Before we remove the old fabric, let's use our felt marker to make two marks on the roller tube. We've made a straight line to mark the channel that the main part of the awning goes into. And we've marked a V next to the channel that the decorative valance slides into. Now it's time to remove the old fabric. But if it's stuck on the tube, there's a simple trick to make it glide right off. Using a razor knife, just slice through the fabric between the two channels that hold the valance and the main awning. Now that the vinyl has been cut into two separate pieces, each one will slide right out of the roller tube. Spray some silicone lubricant into the channels to make it easy to slide the new fabric in. Noting the marks that we made on the roller tube, slide the two beads into their appropriate channels. The beading on the main awning side goes into the track with the straight line, and the beading on the valance side goes into the channel with the V. With your helpers holding the rolled up fabric off the ground, gently pull the end along the tube, simultaneously feeding both beads into the channels as you go. Using a tape measure, center the fabric between the end caps. Even though the right cap isn't back on yet, we can clearly see the mark on the tube where it goes. Now it's time to roll the new fabric up onto the roller tube. This is where an extra helper or two comes in handy on really large awnings. Take your time and roll the fabric as evenly and smoothly as you can. Reinsert the spring assembly into the end of the roller tube, being sure to line up the awning control lever with the mark you made on the side of the tube. You'll also see that the rivet holes line up as well. Now use your pop riveter to replace both rivets in the end cap, securely fastening it to the roller tube. Reattach your vice grips to the roller tube bracket, click the awning control lever to the roll down position, and rotate the spring counterclockwise to retighten it. Be sure to keep a tight hold of the vice grips and count exactly the same number of rotations as when you removed the spring earlier. Now reattach the right awning arm to the end of the roller tube. Remove the protective tape from the bracket and snap the support arm back into place. Remove the Phillips head screwdriver from the left side of the roller tube and replace the black plastic cap. If needed, clean the track to make the new fabric slide as easily as possible and then spray it with a coating of silicone lubricant. Apply some tape to the track. 
This will prevent any sharp edges from tearing the new fabric as you slide it into place. To begin reinstalling the awning onto the RV, stand the entire assembly up and walk it into place, lining up the edge of the fabric with the end of the track. Insert the end of the vinyl into the track and begin sliding it in. Since the track is lubricated with silicone spray, you'll be surprised at how smoothly the new awning slides in compared with removing the old one. Continue pulling it along while your helpers hold the awning arms and move along with you. Now your awning should look just the way it did earlier, with both arms on the ground and the fabric unrolled about a foot, except with brand new material, of course. Remove the protective tape from the awning brackets. Coat each of the four large screws with waterproof sealant and use them to reattach the brackets into the side of the RV. You can also remove the tape at the end of the awning track. Now retract both arms and clip them back into their mounts. It's common for the strap to get rolled up in the fabric during installation. If it's not visible, simply pull on both arms to extend the awning and the strap will fall out. Now roll the awning back up to confirm that it rolls up straight and the arms line up properly. If the arms don't line up perfectly, or the fabric is rolled a little bit to one side or the other, unroll the awning and adjust the material by pulling slightly left or right in the track as needed. Then retract the awning one more time to be sure everything lines up nice and straight. Once it does, you can reinstall the two screws into the awning track that prevent the fabric from sliding side to side. The only thing left to do now is to enjoy your beautiful new awning. And of course, fire up the barbecue to make dinner for your helpful friends. Now you'll have a great place to sit outside and enjoy your meal. For more information on how to order a tough top awning for your RV, click the link in the video description to get in touch with Ray. Also, be sure to connect with us on our website, howtorvgeeks.com, where you can subscribe to hear about our newest RV video tips as soon as they're released. Thank you.